Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today our group we present uh, about satellite communication. So uh, I want to introduce myself first. I'm Muhammad Amir Hakimi bin Muda. Uh, ID number two zero one nine two zero two six one six. Okay. Uh, today I want to present about sketch and type of satellite orbit. Uh, so the satellite orbit. Mm, can see in the picture in the slide so there are six type of orbit geostationary orbit geo low earth orbit leo medium earth orbit meo polar orbit and sun synchronous orbit sso transfer orbit and geostationary transfer orbit gto and last one length range points l points Okay, geostationary orbit (GEO). Satellite is satellite in geostationary orbit (GEO). Circle about the equator from west to east, following a rotation, taking twenty-three hours, fifty-six minutes, and four seconds, but traveling at exactly the same rate as Earth. GEO is used by satellites that. Need to stay constantly above one particular place over Earth, such as telecommunication satellites. Satellites in GEO cover a large range of Earth, so a few as three equal space satellites can provide near global coverage. This is because when a satellite in this far from Earth, it can cover large section at once. Satellites in in GEO cover a large range of Earth, so Earth. So a few as three equally spaced satellites can provide near global global coverage. This is because when a satellite in this far from Earth, it can cover large section at once. ESA Europe Data Relay System (EDRS) program has placed satellites in GEO, where they relay information to and from non-GEO satellites and other stations that are otherwise unable to permanently transmit or receive data. Okay, next low Earth orbit (LEO). A low Earth orbit (LEO) is, as the name suggests, an orbit that is relatively close to Earth's surface. By com, by comparison, most commercial aeroplanes do not fly altitude much greater than approximately fourteen kilometer. So, the lowest LEO is more than ten times higher than that. Unlike satellites in GEO that must always orbit along Earth's equator, LEO satellites do not always have follow a particular path around Earth in the same way their plane can be tilted. Leo, LEO close proximity to Earth make it useful for several reasons. Uh, it is the orbit most commonly used for satellite uh, imaging, as being near to the surface alone. It stay. It It to take image of higher resolution. It also the orbit used for the International Space Station (ISS), as it easier for astronaut to travel to and from it on the shorter distance. LEO satellite are less useful for tasks such as telecommunication because they move so fast across the sky and therefore require a lot of effort to track from the ground station. Work as best. Were as part of the large combination of constellation of multiply satellites uh, to give constant coverage. Next, medium Earth orbit (MEO). Medium Earth orbit comprises a wide range of orbit, uh, anywhere between LEO and GEO. It is similar to LEO in that it also does not need to take a specific path around Earth. Uh, and it is used by a variety of satellites with many different application. It is very commonly used by navigation satellites like European Galileo system. Uh, in the picture, Galileo power navigation communication across Europe and is used to many type of navigation from tracking large jumbo jets to getting direction to your smartphone. Next, polar orbit and sun synchronous orbit (SSO). Satellite in polar orbit usually travel past past Earth. From a north, uh, north to south, rather than from west to east, passing roughly over the Earth poles. Satellite in polar orbit do not have to pass a north and south poles 
preciously even a deviation within 20 to 30 degrees is still classed as a polar orbit sun synchronous orbit sso is a particular kind of polar orbit satellite in sso traveling over the polar re regions uh, synchronous with the sun this means they are synchronous to a with the same fixed position relative to the sun this means that satellite will always observe a point on earth as if constantly at the same time of day which serve a number of applications this is because if you want to monitor an area by taking series of images of a certain place across the many days, weeks, months, or even a years, then, then it will not be very helpful to, to compare somewhere at the middle at the midnight and the midday. You need to take picture in similar of previous picture as possible. Often satellite in SSO are synchronized to the uh, so that they are in constant down of dust. This is because constantly riding sunset sunrise, they will never have a sun at the angle, at the angle where the Earth sh shadows them. Next, transfer orbit and geostationary transfer orbit (GTO). Transfer orbit a special kind of orbit used to get from orbit to another. When satellite are launched from Earth. Earth and carry to space with launch vehicles such as Ariana 5, uh, the satellite are not always placed directly on their final orbit. This allows satellite to reach, for example, a high altitude orbit like GEO without actually needing a large vehicle go away to altitude, which would require more effort this like taking a shortcut. Orbit have different eccentricities. Eccentricities, a measure of how circular, round, or elliptical scratch on the orbit is. On a high eccentric orbit like this, the satellite can quickly go from being very far to very near Earth's surface depending on where the satellite is on the orbit. In transfer orbit, the payload use engines to go from the orbit on eccentricity to another, which put a threat to higher or lower, lower orbits. After lift off, half, after lift off, after lift lift off, a large vehicle make it very uh, way to space following a path shown by the yellow line, in the figure. At the target destination, the rocket release the payload which sets it off the elliptical orbit, following the blue line which send the payload farther f away from Earth. When the payload reaches the apogee at the GEO altitude of 35,786 km, it fires in engine in such a way that it enters onto the circular GEO orbit and stay there, shown by the red line in the diagram. Next, the last orbit leg range point. For example, for space-based observation and telescope whose mission into the photograph deep dark space being near to Earth is hugely detrimental because Earth naturally emits visible light and infrared radiation that we prevent telescope from detecting any faint light lights like distant galaxy. L points allow for orbit that are much much farther away over a million kilometers and do not orbit Earth directly. These are specific points far away in space that are gravitational field of Earth and Sun combined in such way that spacecraft then orbit they remain stable uh, and can thus the anchor relative to earth the most ul point are l1 and l2 these are both uh, four times farther away from earth than the moon uh, uh, 1.5 million kilometer compared to geo 36000 kilometer but that is still only approximately one percent distance of earth from the sun Many ESA observational and science missions were, are, or will enter and orbit about the L points. For example, the Solar Telescope SOHO and LISA Pathfinder at the Sun Earth L1 point, Herschel, Planck, Gaia, Euclid, Plato, Ariel, JWST, and Antenna Telescope, or are or will be at the sun uh, L2 point. So that's all for me about the orbits. Thank you.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Aiman bin Muhammad Fauzi And I will present about frequency bands for satellite frequency range There are varieties of satellite frequency bands that can be used Designation have been developed so that they can be referred so easily The higher frequency bands give access to wider bandwidth but if the bandwidth become wider, it is more susceptible to signal degradation due to rain fade. The absorption of radio signals happens by atmospheric rain, snow or ice. Next, because of satellites increase due increased use, number and size, congestion has become a serious issue in the lower frequency bands. New technologies are being investigated so that higher bands can be used. There are several types of satellite frequency. The first type is L band, which is 1 to 2 gigahertz, S band 2 to 4 gigahertz, C band 4 to 8 gigahertz, X band 8 to 12 gigahertz, KU band. 12 to 18 gigahertz and KA band 26 to 40 gigahertz frequency each of this type of band have their own use and function and I have stated that function in the slide that's all from me thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Thank you, Muhammad Iman, for inviting me to present my subtopic. And my name is Amir Al Hafiz Ben Sam Sudan from class EE 12 BA and uh, battery 2019434622. And my subtopic is advantage and disadvantage of geostationary or but satellite why the geostationary orbit is widely used for many satellite applications it is not suitable for all students there are several advantage and disadvantage to be taken into consideration first of all geostationary advantage the first as is it is greater height and it covers large geographical area. Hence, only three satellites are required to cover the entire Earth. Satellites are always in same position relative to Earth antenna do not read the orientation. Satellites are visible 24 hours continuously from single fixed location on the Earth. It is ideal for broadcasting and multi-point distribution application. Ground station tracking is not required as it is continuously visible from Earth all the time from fixed location. Uh, Inter-satellite and half is not needed. Less number of satellite are need to cover the entire Earth. Only three satellite uh, are sufficient for the job. Almost there is no Doppler shift and has hence less complex, complex receiver can be used for the satellite communication. Then the next slide is following uh, the disadvantage of geographical orbit. First, the Signal require consider considerable time to travel from Earth to satellite. Second, due to longer transmission distance, the receive signal is very weak. This require better loudness amplifier and also advanced signal processing algorithm in the satellite modern. This increase the cost of the ground station equipment and third, it provides poor coverage at higher higher 
latitude place usually greater than 77 degrees Therefore, satellite more costly to install in geo in view of greater altitude 5. Long path length interrupt delay Seat geo centenary satellite orbit can be only be above the equator and therefore polar region cannot be covered Despite the disadvantage of using in Genesis orbit, they are still widely used because the overriding advantage of the satellite always being in the same position relative to a given place on the Earth. That's all from me. Thank you.